They've only gotten two inches of rain in the past three years, and today it's supposed to rain in like an hour, so. Bad timing on our part, I'd say. <laughs> but... So it rarely rains in Palm Springs, and of course the one weekend we come here, it has decided to rain. Um, so we're taking advantage of this kind of like day off, because we can't really go out and do all the things we wanted to do. So we're having a wellness day in Palm Springs, like this is a spa or something. So I think we're gonna go hop in the jacuzzi. It's hot. Just my toes, I think I mean, we said we were gonna do a spa day, but like, I didn't know how freaking hot the water was, so we were just like dancing to try and figure out how to get over the heat of the water. I'm not normally a jacuzzi person, are you? No, I actually dislike jacuzzi. <laughs> but this is a traditional thing to do in Palm Springs. I mean, there's like massages and wellness places and jacuzzis, even though I didn't think we'd actually swim in it. I also didn't think it was gonna be like 50 degrees. True. In Palm Springs? Yeah, apparently only, they've only gotten two inches of rain in the past three years. And today it's supposed to rain in like an hour, so. You better do it fast. You better come back fast. You gotta jump in. You can't do that. Go, 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 go. go. Oh, fail. You can do it. Because it's winter, we got this place for way less than expected. It was only $74 which is pretty darn good for California prices and just USA prices in general, like $74 a night at a pretty cool place in California, in Palm Springs. It's a good deal. So because our plans for the day have been altered so much that we are staying inside and just hanging out in our hotel room and hanging out in this jacuzzi, we're gonna film our Palm Springs adventure tomorrow. So yeah, this is it. So flash forward to tomorrow. It's the next morning and I've already gotten out on the town to get coffee and this place is like my jaw dropped like <laughs> so <laughs> yesterday a really big storm came through and it kind of like ruined our whole plan right we were supposed to like do all our well, we had a wellness things. day but like we did we yeah. had a wellness day but it ruined our plans of like going out and actually seeing Palm Springs because it was super cloudy super overcast the rain was coming down so hard it also snowed on top of the mountains so as I was driving to McDonald's this morning I literally like turned to one side, saw the snow on the like the mountains and the sun hitting the mountains with all of the snow and my jaw was like, like I literally did an audible. <gasps> it was so beautiful and I'm really upset that we missed yesterday. But we're here this morning. We're gonna explore as much of Palm Springs as we possibly can today. I am very excited for just to be here. Oh, it is stunning out there. It it's is really, stunning. really, really nice, really nice. Like, I'm really surprised that Palm Springs is this beautiful. I think it's helping that the snow just fell last night. Yeah, well, it's, it's adding a, a dimension to the aesthetic. So this town is seriously just covered in this mid-century modernism architecture. It became really big in the 40s all the way through the 60s, there are thousands of homes here that are designed in the style and it's all like the very sleek look. Like if you think of like a James Bond movies in the 70s, his home is mid-century modernism. It became very popular. A lot of famous people own really cool homes here. There are a lot of homes that have been turned into like museums because it like perfectly shows like what mid-century modernism was all about. It's about like functionality and sleek look and like no fuss and it's just really cool to drive around because like you see it everywhere like you're just driving around a neighborhood and you see all these really cool homes found her favorite new house that what do you think that one the one behind me oh behind you it's pretty cool Definitely mid century, but I don't know. I like that one. But what? Yeah. This is straight out of Back to the Future. Like, this is what they said 2020 was going to be like. Or 2018, I think, is the year they went to. But straight out of Back to the Future. Look at this. Even this call box. It's like, what is going on? 
This architecture is so funny. I'm not sure what we're looking at here, but it's giving me that, like, we're out here in the desert and we're just, like, making stuff. I feel like this screams desert. So as you can see, it's Christmassy. This is actually a Christmas light display someone built with colorful robots, lights, and during Christmas you pay $1 and you can walk through the whole exhibit. But right now you can only see what's outside. So this is what we have, just a colorful array of random metal objects that are welded together. Not too far, two hours away is Desert Mountain. I don't know what it's called. We can insert the name right here but it's like a place with no laws and there's like a bunch of statues just like this. So we're kind of getting that feel in a really nice neighborhood. very popular place to go, especially for tourism, because like you've probably heard of Palm Springs at one point in your life, especially if you're from the United States and you're like, have watched any movie with California in it, you know, or Hollywood or something like that, you've heard of Palm Springs probably once. And it's really popular destination yeah. for... Yay! Thank you. <laughs> It's a really popular destination for snowbirds, especially from Canada, because it's like a warm place to be in winter, even though it's like really freezing today. So there are a lot of places to eat, and because it's in California, and because it's a very popular destination, a lot of the places where you can eat are pretty expensive, unless you're like eating at like a food chain, you know? So I did some research and I found the sandwich spot, and it has 24 different sandwiches that are like on this beautiful Dutch roll, and they're all really, really different. So we got number 24, the MILF, which is unfortunately named, but it has marinated chicken, cranberry, bomb sauce, which is like this like spicy ranch. It's under $10, which is like, you know, like it's a pretty good price, especially if you're in such a popular tourist town like we are right now. We're gonna split this sandwich and it's gonna be so good. So we're eating the sandwich in the car because Rona. The sandwich spot. Ooh, look at this sandwich. Ooh, what a beautiful sandwich. Sandwiches, I think are one of my top 10 foods. I love bread. Mmm. This bread is awesome. It is super fluffy, but it has a nice crust on either side. Gives it that great bite. Overall, 10 out of 10 sandwich. The sandwich spot in Palm Springs. It's a good way to keep your budget in check. Downtown is so cool. I am very, very impressed. I didn't know Palm Springs was gonna have a downtown that was this vibrant, but there are so many people here. Everyone's out, it's Sunday morning. The weather is amazing in wintertime. Like, I wanna be here all the time. Like, this is an amazing place to vacation. All right, and that is it from Palm Springs. We wanna show you more, but it's just like, because it rained, we didn't have our other day, and so yeah. we gotta head back to LA now. This was so much fun. I had no idea I would enjoy Palm Springs this much. I didn't realize it was gonna be such an event. You know, like just coming here, such an experience to drive around Palm Springs and just look at houses all day it was so entertaining. Like this was such a fantastic way to spend a day. Thanks for watching. Gotta pee, gotta pee. Ah, Palm Springs, perfect place to come and relax from the stress of Los Angeles. It's a sandwich. It's a sandwich. Doctor said it was a bland witch. Disagree. But it's not. It needs more salt.